Welcome back. You're watching News Night on ENCA. Now, following the success of its inaugural event, the Body Moves International Inclusive Dance Festival is returning for a second edition as we mark National Disability Awareness Month. The festival's focus is on inclusivity and what sets it apart is that it supports uh, dancers with and without disabilities. The festival will take place at Benoni's Sibiqua Arts Center from the 20th to the 26th of November. Co-founder and curator of Body Moves, Phyllis Colts, joins me virtually to share more. Good evening to you, Phyllis. Thank you very much for joining us here on Newsnight. Let's chat a little bit about this specific dance festival. It's in its second year uh, this year. Why was it founded? What was the point and purpose when it was initially created? Well, um, Sabiqua has been working with young people with disability in their schools since 2017, 2018, pre-COVID. Of course, things stopped a bit during COVID. And um, we were sitting last year, actually, and thinking, OK, we're going to have a dance festival for young choreographers. And we were sitting in a group, and I don't know how it came about, but it seemed a natural progression to have a dance festival linked to our educational festival, uh, educational work which was with young people in schools for disabil with disability. And so that's how the festival grew. It was a very organic thing. It grew mm. out of our fundamental educational work. Yes. I want to chat a little bit about what sets this specific dance festival apart. And I think a big part of it is inclusivity and the fact that there's both uh, able dancers and, and dancers with disabilities involved as well. Talk us through uh, that conversation and why it was so important to be inclusive. Well, I just think generally in society, it's part of our humanity to be inclusive and uh, give people with disability the, the, a platform to display their talents, to work creatively and to show what their capabilities. We often dismiss people with disability thinking they can't do. And that's the premise that we start off with, that they can't do. But in fact, they can do. So let's give them a platform to do what they can do. I love that. So, so let's chat about some of these dancers uh, who will be featured in this festival. Tell us a little bit about them. Share with us some of their stories. So there's um, Matthew Odingyo from Kenya, and he's coming with one dancer who dances with calipers. Matthew is quite an extraordinary man. He works in the west of Kenya in deep rural areas, and he works with people with disability, and that's how he company, his company focuses. And then there's a dancer from, two dancers from Madagascar. The one is an able-bodied dancer. The other one is partially sighted and uh, they will two females and they will do a duet and then there's a company coming from flanders and this is quite interesting the dancer is not physically disabled but has a mental condition and lives in a closed community and she has been working with a choreographer called fanny van der stunt and they're working together on about people with mental illness and intimacy. Uh, and so those are the dancers that are coming from the international dancers. And then there's a lady who came last year to Sabiqua called Cindy Cummins from Ireland. And uh, she gave such extraordinary workshops that we've asked her to come back this year because everyone so enjoyed her workshops. Part of the festival is also hosting workshops. Yes. Uh, so people work together, collaborate together at a workshop. Uh, it's about the collective community as well at Sabiqua because people sit together at lunchtime, they have a meal together, they sit across the table, they discuss things, they hold workshops together. It, it, it's very much that kind of vibe. 
Mm. And, and let's, let's, let's expand on the, the program uh, of events that will be unfolding on the day. Like you mentioned, there will be workshops, there will be d discussions as well. Uh, what are the workshops focusing on? What are the conversations and discussions centered around? Well, each workshop um, is, is designated for its own ends because each facilitator has their own take on things. So, um, for instance, the, the woman who's, Fanny, who will be doing a workshop at Moving Into Dance on the 21st, she's looking at uh, creativity and play. Uh, other people that are doing workshops will look at what it means to choreograph with someone who has a disability. Uh, Andile Velm from Unmute in Cape Town, he's going to be doing workshops with young people on signing and how to do the movements with that, as he's a non-hearing person. So each workshop has its own definition, its own way, depending on the facilitator. I see. So, you know, yes. November is is a Disability Awareness Month. And often, um, yes. you know, we ask ourselves, how can we contribute? How can we support? Uh, at a time such as this, when it is a time to create awareness and it is a time to have these conversations, um, how do we assist? How do we get involved? Uh, how do we help? You mean just generally? Yes. I don't think it's just one month. You know, I mean, it, it, it's something that you do all the time, if you can, you know, uh, whatever it is. Like we have a continual teaching program in the schools. And for individuals, um, maybe they visit homes for disabled people throughout the year. Uh, you know, it, I understand why there's such a thing as disability now when it's highlighted. But... It could be something that you do throughout the year, not every day, maybe once a month, maybe once every two months, but it's a continual thing that you do, do that you acknowledge people who are the other. Mm -hmm. And I think part of that is uh, obviously supporting the festival and attending if we can. It's happening from the 20th to the 26th of November. Phyllis, where do we purchase tickets? Um, how do we attend? Okay, so um, you can purchase tickets from Quicket, and there are two public performances on the 25th and 26th. Both performances are at 2.15. Pre the dance performance, there'll be uh, a cappella blind singers singing outside. At Sabiqua, we love to do work outside, inside, on site site-specific, not so site-specific, but we, we like to use the whole space. And hopefully, the, not hopefully, this festival, we will be using inside and outside Beautiful. in the most creative way. Beautiful. Just in conclusion, Phyllis, let's talk a little bit yeah. about Zabilkwe, the Arts Centre, and the work that you do there. Well, you know, Small and Daba myself founded Zabilkwe 35 years ago. And um, we didn't start it during those days with a master plan <laughs> because things were very different then. And the organization has grown throughout the years. It's been educational and we've done a lot of plays, issue-based plays. Recently, um, we did an enormous partnership with uh, the French Institute uh, and with a French theatre company, one of the most well-known companies in France, Théâtre de Soleil, and we did a play of theirs called 1789, which was a totally immersive production. So, and there's also other projects looking at entrepreneurship, education through dance and drama. Um, there are very many projects, and it's developed over the years, and it's a beautiful building today, and uh, yes, I must say, one has a sense of achievement when you look at the building and the programs and the teachers who run the programs so efficiently. 
beautiful work that you are doing, Phyllis. Thank you for your time. Thank you for sharing a little bit about all of the work that you do and, and getting us excited about supporting this uh, dance festival. We thank you for your time. That was Phyllis Colts, co-founder at uh, Body Moves. Uh, she's also a curator there, just chatting to us about this dance festival that is inclusive of both uh, able body and dis disabled body uh, dancers, and it's really exciting. I hope that you will go out and support.